these years, Enzyme has been very important in industries. Like I see, I want to know which are like present in the nature. Like I see, I'm the oldest and most valid enzymatic system. These enzymes contain 15 and 30 percent carbohydrate and have a molecular mass of 60 and 90 kilograms. These are also containing one powerful benzenidium, including an oxygen oxygen retested family, which is found in higher plants and microorganisms. These are glucosylated polyphenol oxidases that contain four copper ions per molecule. They carry out one electron oxidation of phenolic and its related compound and release oxygen to water. When substance is oxidized by the lacase, it crosses a single electron and usually the form of free radical which may undergo further oxidation or an enzymatic reaction including hydration, disproportionation, and polymerization. These enzymes are polymeric and generally contain one each of type 1, type 2, and type 3 copper cellular or subunit, where the type 2 and type 3 are close together, forming a three nuclear copper cluster. The potential uses of lactase have been reviewed extensively in recent years. Lactase play an important role in food industry, pepper and pulp industry, textile industry, synthetic chemistry, soil mineral remediation and bioremediation of environmental family, and removal of endocrine disruptors. These enzymes are used for pulp delicification, pesticide or insecticides, degradation, organic synthesis, waste detoxification, Textile data transformation, food technology producers, and biosensor and analytical applications. These enzymes also have possible applications in other sectors, such as cosmetic, pain, and furniture industries. Additionally, lactase has a price in the production of biomethanol from regular cellulose and material as fixed Initially, the potential use of lactase uses for industrial and biotechnological purposes is a thriving area of research. Reaction mechanism of lactase. The basic reaction catalyzed by lactase can be of two types: direct oxidation and indirect oxidation. The direct oxidation involves the oxidation of substrate to the corresponding radical as a result of direct interaction that occur with copper clusters. However, in certain reaction, direct oxidation is not feasible as lactase can only oxidize those compounds whose ionization potential does not exceed redox potential of T1 copper ions. Nevertheless, the limitation can be overcome by the use of mediator which is a two-step process. First, enzyme catalyzes the oxidation of the mediator and then the oxidized mediator oxidizes the substrates. However, for the reaction to occur without any obstruction, certain features should be exhibited by the mediator. First, the reaction shall occur without any hindrance. Second, it must be good substance for lactase but in its oxidized and reduced form. Third, it should be stable. It must not inhibit enzymatic reaction and for conversion must be cyclic in nature. Lactases are the enzymes which are secreted out from several fungi during the secondary metabolites and we grow it in the medium extracellularly. For the example, Botrys feria is one of the fungal species that produces a dimethoxyphenol oxidizing enzyme, which is a true lactase. In the lactase production, Basidiomycetes and saprotrophic fungi are the most widely known species that produce substantial amount of lactase. There are several factors that can influence lactase production, such as type of cultivation, carbon limitation, and nitrogen source.
a textile industry utilizes large volume of water and chemical for wet processing. This chemical range for inorganic compounds to organic compounds. The chemical structure of dyes provide a resistance to fading when exposed to light, water, and other. Diversity color in form of pellet used to trick a black liquor's discharge for detoxifying and reducing the color, aromatic compound, and chemical oxygen demand or COD. They found that color and aromatic compound were reduced up to 70 to 80 percent and COD was reduced up to 60 percent. They conclude that diversity color is able to produce lacase. Diversity color completely decolorized the amaranth, tropaulin O, reactive blue 15, congo red, and reactive black 5 with no dye option, while it partially decolorized blue and red 3 GP, brilliant yellow 3 BA, and remazole. They found that after decolorization, toxicity of a few dye remained the same, while some become non toxic. Lacus based hair dyes are less irritant and easier to handle than conventional hair dyes because lacus replace H2O2 in the dye formulation. Lacus are also used in the chlorination process. Silidine is a lacus inducer which increases the chlorination activity due to which dissolved oxygen concentration is reduced. Bacteria as maltophilia decolorize some synthetic dyes like methylene blue, methylene green, congo red, methyl orange, and pink as well as industrial effluent. Chlorine and oxygen-based chemical oxidant are used for the separation and degradation of lignin, which is required for the preparation of paper at industrial level. But, some problems such as recycling, cost, and toxicity remain unsolved. However, in the existing bleaching process, LMS could be easily implemented because it leads to a partial replacement of ClO2 in pulp mills. Due to rapid industrialization and extensive use of pesticide for better agricultural productivity, contamination of soil, water, and air take place which is a serious environmental problem of today. PCB, benzene, toluene, ethylbenzene, BTEX, PAH, PCP, DDT, and TNT are the substances which are known for their carcinogenic as well as mutagenic effect and are persistent in the environment. Lacus obtained from T. filosa remediates the soil by degrading 2,4-DCP. An experiment has shown that use of mixture of pre- and immobilized lacus can remove 100% of 2,4-DCP without regard of moisture content. Meanwhile, the utilize of only an immobilized lacus just remove 2,4 DCP about 95%. <laughs> In beer industry, lacus can increase the shelf life of beer. In beer, as formation takes place which is stimulated by the naturally present proanthocyanidins polyphenol and is referred to as chill haze. In room temperature or above, warming the beer can dissolve the complex. But, after a certain period of time, phenolic ring will be replaced by the sulfhydryl group, which will form permanent haze that cannot be redissolved. For polyphenol oxidation, lacus has been used widely because it capable to remove the excess oxygen, so the self-life of the beer will be increased. <music>